Hey guys, Steve Jabber here, and in this video we're going to be discussing the popular dating app eHarmony.com. And we're going to answer the fundamental question, is eHarmony worth it for you? And we're going to split up the video into a number of sections, and we'll start with the success statistics on eHarmony, then we'll look at user demographics and member demographics, then we'll look at the main features of eHarmony, and then discuss the price and finally form the conclusion and answer the question whether eHarmony is worth it. Now bear in mind, if at any point you want to try eHarmony for free, use the free trial link in the description beneath this video, and you'll also get a 25% discount if you use that link. Or if you like, go to eHarmony25.com. You want to go there directly and you'll also get the free trial and 25% discount. So without further ado, let's get on with the first section of the video, success statistics on eHarmony. So the first headline figure that you'd like to know is that about three quarters of users that use eHarmony match up or pair up within the first year. The actual figure is 71% of women meet a partner within the first year and 69% of men. So the chances are very good if you sign up to eHarmony, you're going to meet a compatible long-term partner within the first year. And eHarmony is responsible for 4% of US marriages across the entire nation. A really quite breathtaking statistic. Now a study by Harris Interactive showed that 542 men and women get married every day because they met on eHarmony. And overall, the site is responsible for over 600,000 marriages in the United States alone. 2.3 million messages are sent on eHarmony each week, and the divorce rate on eHarmony is only 3.6% compared with the 50% divorce rate from marriages in the United States. A massive difference, so you're much less likely to get divorced if you meet your marriage partner on eHarmony. Once again, if you want to try eHarmony for free yourself, use the link in the description below or go to eHarmony25.com and get your 25% discount. So let's move on to user demographics. About 15,000 members sign up to eHarmony every day and complete the personality quiz, which takes about 10 minutes to complete. Now the site has been going for over 20 years, is active in over 200 countries and has over 50 million members. And the demographic split, which is great for both men and women, is 51% women and 49% guys. Now that compares very favorably against sites or apps like Tinder, where it's about four guys for every girl, and OkCupid and so on. So you have a much higher chance, just by demographics alone, of meeting a partner because the ratio of males to females is about equal. So where are users on eHarmony based? About 29 million members in the United States, and the rest of the users split between the UK, Australia, Canada, and the Western countries. Now you can't discuss demographics of members on eHarmony unless you actually talk about the quality of the members. So what's eHarmony all about? What are the users looking for? Well, as I've mentioned, the most of the users on eHarmony are looking for a serious relationship. This is not a place for hookups, and about 80% of users are indeed looking for serious relationships on this site. 60% of users are college educated, and the majority of users are in the 25 to 34 age bracket, although there are also plenty of users from 35 all the way up to about 65 years old. So it has a high quality, committed user base looking for a match, looking for a long-term partner. So let's discuss the features of eHarmony. And the first feature we're going to discuss is the matching algorithm. And this is where eHarmony really stands out from its competition. So this is how most dating sites work. You sign up, you do a search, you find girls or boys in your local area or within a distance from your local area, and you think, ooh, I like the look of that person, and you send as many messages as you can, especially if you're a guy. Copy and pasted messages, the same guff, send out to every single girl that you like the look of, that you want to get into bed, we've all done it. eHarmony is very different. They have a matching algorithm that's constantly working in the background to match you with people that are compatible with you for the long term, not just for a hookup, but for long-term relationships. Now, this compatibility algorithm is based on 29 data points. The first one is the long questionnaire that you fill in when you sign up. It used to be 400 questions, now it's about 150. It takes about 10 minutes to complete. That forms the bulk of the algorithm. But the algorithm is also watching what you do, who you send messages to, who you like, who you talk with on the platform. And it feeds this into the algorithm and decides and gives you matches every day of girls or boys that are compatible with you in terms of personality, not just physical appearance. Now let's talk a little bit about the compatibility questionnaire. So this is the questionnaire that you get when you sign up, and this is what the algorithm 
is largely based on. So the first section is emotional temperament. Looks into self-concept, emotional status, emotional energy, obstreperousness, which means how much you criticize other people, and passion, or how romantic you are. It also asks questions about your personality type, whether you're empathetic, whether you're dominant. And it also looks at your education, how intelligent you are. It asks you a few questions about that too, designed to weed out the real answer so that it can match you with compatible people. Now, there are also a bunch of free text fields that you'll need to fill in when you sign up to eHarmony. So be careful to answer these questions honestly so you give a true representation of yourself. And don't lie about your height like most guys do. And if you do, maybe add an extra inch, not five inches. And the second feature of eHarmony, which makes it stand out from the competition, is this concept of guided communication. So like we say, most guys spam all the hot girls the girls get fed up with it because they get too many messages and all the guys are just looking to sling dick, to be frank. And the guys, generally speaking, don't get what they want because the girls get so many messages. They pick out the best looking guys, generally speaking, and the average guy does not get a look in. So with the guided communication on eHarmony, that doesn't happen. Guided communication is a designed algorithm to take you through the process step by step of actually getting to know the person that you're talking to, spending a bit of time answering questions, getting to know them before you even meet up. So the idea is you don't just jump into bed within the first hour, the first week or so, spend time getting to know them through this guided communication process. Now this is designed to weed out people that are just looking for hookups and are actually looking for a serious relationship, point one, and point two, the people that you're most likely to be compatible with. Now I must admit, given my history as a dating coach, I did get a bit frustrated with the guided communication there making me wait before I can try and ask a girl out on a date. The girls seemed to like it. And over time, I did actually find that it was easier to get into a serious relationship using the guided communication protocol, the algorithm, and the matches that it picked out were, generally speaking, quite suitable for me. As you'll know, when you sign up to dating sites, you send a bunch of messages, and usually you get about a 10% hit rate. Girls that even reply to your message, and then a smaller percentage of those girls will go on dates with you. With the guided communication, virtually every girl that I spoke to was at least willing to talk to me and then block me after a few messages when they realized how vile I was, just joking. But with the guided communication, generally speaking, the average guy is much more likely to at least get some chat going on and get to know the girls that they're talking to. So how much does eHarmony cost? I'm going to give you the cost in US dollars. Now, without a premium membership, you can't do anything. You have to pay to be able to message girls, but these are the breakdowns. So the premium light for six months is $69.90. Premium plus for 12 months is $49.90 per month. And the premium extra for 24 months is $39.90 per month. Now that's in US dollars. The cost is roughly the same all around the Western world, but just convert it into your own currency. So the question, is eHarmony worth it? If you're looking for a serious relationship, there is really no alternative. eHarmony is by far the best dating site out there. It has a high quality, detailed matching algorithm. It has guided communication, an established reputation, and people know to come there to sign up to look for serious relationships. Now, if that fits what you need, use the link in the description to get your free trial for eHarmony and your 25% discount, or go to eHarmony25.com and you'll get your discount and free trial. Hope this video answers your questions about eHarmony, and I'll see you guys in the next video.